Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's going on? If there's one thing I like doing, it's lurking in Frank's background. Buddy, if you were closer, you could come hang out, and we could stream together. And you could lurk in my foreground. We are playing uh, an Abzan Aristocrats deck, courtesy of Flunk. And uh, we got four Voice, four Tide Hollow, four Seder Wayfinder, three Zula Port Cutthroats, and four Blood Artists. I feel like we want four and four, but that's just me. Uh, four Viscera Seer, four Birds, and two Elves. And then we got Collective Company, Rally the Ancestors, and Return to the Ranks. This might be too much. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I think last time we had an issue with one of one or one or the other of these. I always get these two cards confused because they're white, white X, and they do very, very similar things. And they both <clears throat> start with R's, and you're rallying and returning, and you know. So we'll see. <clears throat> We're gonna play it as is for now, and see how that goes. And then we'll come back and see what's going on. <laughs> it's like Bioshock. There's always a lighthouse, and there's always a mic. That's basically, yeah. That's that's almost exactly how it goes. I will keep this hand. This hand seems as good as we can expect from... You should play Shalai. Got him. Wrecked. Hans, you okay? Hunter was making a weird noise. Come here, bud. You okay? Mm -hmm. He's over here now. Oh, look, it's Tron, guys. It's our favorite deck. Tron is our favorite deck. So I'm pretty sure we just play uh, voice and... Viscera Seer here. <clears throat> the Mike Robles. Have a great day at work, buddy. I'm really glad you stopped in, even just to say hi. Always a pleasure, buddy. Oh look, they have two Tron lands and then a third Tron land. It's almost like all the Tron lands. Alright, well we got a lot of things going on here. Worst case scenario, they Ugin us. But they can't Ugin us because they won't have enough. So they can Karn us and that's not super exciting. And then we have a bunch of attackers, so that's cool. So if we sack Bird, it deals two. Then we sack Voice of Resurgence, it deals two. Then we sack the token, it deals two, that's six. Then we sack Blood Artist, it deals two, that's eight. Then we can sack Cutthroat, that's nine. Yep, I figured actually, I, I figured Viscerous Seer was going to be the uh, the target here, unfortunately. I'm actually going to sack this Voice of Resurgence because it makes a huge guy. It makes a big boy. Uh, let's always yield to this, to this, and to this. Um, yeah, we can keep that. I don't think we actually need the bird. The bird is actually probably better in the trash can, right?
Still keep you on top. Still keep you on top. So now we can go bird and the other dude. So we can go <coughs> bird voice and then attack for six. And now that we have no cards in hand, so their plus on Karn doesn't do anything, but they can negative Karn now, so that's pretty good. And now I think Collected Companies are live. Return to the ranks, Rally the Ancestors, all those cards are live. Viscerous Seer is live. So we have a lot of live draws. <clears throat> so return each creature with a permanent aspect, X or less. Return X card creatures with Mermaid Cups 2 or less. So both these are pretty good. So that's 12 things that we can draw. 13, 14, 15. I would like another sack outlet. We have 15 hits. Or maybe like Court of Calling just to get like a Viscera Seer. Yep, you got it. We have 15, 15 hits out of 50. So a little over 30, a little less than 33%. Probably like 30%. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. That's a lot. That is a lot. Karn number two. That seems good. Yes, that is fine. All right, 30%. 30% to hit. Oblivion Stone, yep. That's pretty good. Turn next cards like two or mana cost, so we want, want to hit three creatures, right? So it costs five, one, two, three, four, five, four, five. Yeah, let's do that. That should kill them. <clears throat> Attack your face. Why do people even play Tron? This deck isn't even that good, clearly. Never didn't have it, guys. One, two, three. Good night, nurse. Okay, they figured it out. People play Tron because it's a cool deck. That seems patently false, but what do I know? What do I know? Okay, so... I don't even know if I like Creeping Corrosion here. Wrath of God, also not good. Or Firewalker, not great. Pride Mage could be decent. We have Tide Hollow Skullers already. We have no real like thought seeds or anything. These are not also not good. Hmm. There are no Phoenixes? What does that mean? I've never played Phoenix. Take one wayfinder out. I don't think we need eight of these. Maybe we do? I don't think so, though. That's a lot. This is always going to cost four. This deck has 19 lands. This is always going to cost four mana because we always want to do it for two or less. Uh, this, however, you probably only want, like... I mean, it's going to cost five, but you can Convoke, so it's kind of a different beast. Hmm. Exile those creatures at the beginning of your next end step. So you can actually do it during your during your end step and then attack with them on the next turn.
I will keep this in. Actually, having two two tight all scholars seems pretty good here. I mean, they're going to go mine or or tower next turn, and then just have it. So, what can you do? Yep. To the surprise of no one, absolutely no one. We're just gonna play Windswept and get like an Overgrown here. Thrag Tusk, Thought Not Seer, Ancient Stirrings. They don't actually have a green. If they go to get a green, they can't play anything else. I'm just taking the Thought Not Seer. Oh, I guess they could play Chromatic Star. Dang. That's a good card. So they're going to go get the mine, to the surprise of no one. Then they're going to play mine, and then they're going to play Chromatic Star. And then they're going to crack it for green, then they're going to play Thrag Tusk. Ancient stirrings instead. Fascinating. Sure. I don't know if you can hear that bass, but that was extremely loud. Bass. White line. And all the while I think of you. Kasali Pride Mage. That is not a Pride Mage. So they don't have this. They don't have Thrag Test. They just blow this next turn. They get all their things back. That is unfortunate. If I was to list off all the things that are unfortunate, that would be at the top of that list. <laughs> Hmm. Alright, we're just going to pass here and keep up Collected Company. The company that is collected. Give me my Thought Not Seer back. Oh, I see. You're just going to... You're just going to wait. That makes sense. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana, huh? Oh, blow it up now. They didn't blow it up again. All right, this is very weird. I'm not sure I understand. All right, well, I'm going to collect a company here because I guess they could blow up their worm if they wanted to. This verse here, Voice of Resurgence, any order. How about this guy? We actually play Tidal Scholar and just sacrifice it in response. Let's get rid of like Thrag Tusk forever. Doesn't feel great though. I don't actually know how we win this game. We, I feel like we're very far behind, especially when I have Oblivion Stone. 
I'll put a counter on my worm, worm boy. Yep. Oh, you're going to blow everything up. I see. So, one, two, three, four, five. Might as well scry, I guess. Blood artist. Bottom. I was getting this guy back anyway, so. Throw at the bottom. Definitely bottom. I just don't think any of these cards are going to do anything for us, unfortunately. Horizons is not going to have anything that's already legal and modern. No card in Horizons is already legal and modern. They already said that. Got it. Yep. So I don't think we know what's on top. That's not going to do it. All right. Turn X creatures. We would have had six men at that point. We can return four guys. It just doesn't do anything. You need multiple blood artists and um, this little pork cutthroats. Is this the real Frank? Say something Lepore-esque. No. Got him. Alright, let's see if they have Tron Land, map, other Tron Land, find third Tron Land again for all three games. That'd be good. He is always saying alright. Alright. Alright, welcome back. Welcome back to the Magical Mystery Tour. It's coming to take you away. All right, one down. Oh, that's a star. All right. All right. Now I'm just really saying it all the time now. Something like a phenomenon on my white lines. Running through my mind. And all the while I think of you. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I think we actually take the o the uh, the Sylvan Scrying here. It's the only thing that hits them a land. That's interesting. I mean, our hand is not oppressive at all. And for 19 lands, we drew 5 lands, 3 cards. That's pretty weird. Alright, crack that. Play another star, another star is born. Oh wow, you top decked a mine. That's super nice. Let me guess, your draws are mine, ancient stirrings. Okay, just Karanic Spear, sure.
Okay. So we can go black, this or here. Blood artist. I'm not a big fan of Tide Hollow Skuller in this list. I like that I like the um the disruption. I just don't like that we have to give the card back. <laughs> yeah, when you keep the really bad hand and you're like, here you go. You can look at it. It's so awkward. <laughs> you're like, oh, I did a bad thing. Please don't judge me. I'm tempted to sack this bird just because we really don't need it now and I'd like to increase my draw. I said no. No means no, bird. Well, that ain't bad. White and green. We can just attack with this guy for three, or we can attack with both and diversify our threats. Let's diversify. I mean, we know they have Oblivion Stone and Thrag Tusk in hand, but they're also like kind of scrounging for lands here. I always just assume my Tron, my Tron opponent is going to get it every time. Like that. And all the while I think of you. Let's crack this guy. <sighs> Seriously, bird? For real, bud? Well, next turn they're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So they're going to be able to Oblivion Stone. Do we play the bird because it nets us an extra point? I don't know. Probably not. So we get to sack, 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 sack. This is five damage. They go to four. I don't love it. Can't see reason not to play the land, though. Mm hmm. Sure. <coughs> How nice. Blue and Stone and that one are gone. I watched most of your vintage video earlier. Vintage doesn't seem like a fun format outside of cubes. I, I enjoy vintage. Alright, that's not terrible. We can actually play that sack it in response to the trigger. Um, I think we're actually just going to attack here, though. Because there's no way they let us... There's no way they go to four here, so... White lines... Running through my mind, and all the while I think of you. Let's see what we got here. Bottom. Um, yes, let's keep that on the top. Um, okay, so they're gonna go, I'd rather them have the two damage because we know what we're getting, so you can just kill both and then we'll just get two triggers. And then we're gonna take old Thraggy boy. Uh, we're gonna go white and black. Oh, 
that walking ballista. That's unfortunate, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, and then they can have one, two, three, four. So they can actually make this for four and then still play Thrag Test. That's really frustrating. Wow, that's really stupid. Maybe they don't do that though. Maybe they just walking ballista and shoot both of these, and that's also fine. That would be better. Uh, we don't take the ballista because I want them to waste the ballista. They're gonna. If we took the ballista, then they're just gonna play Thrag Tusk. If we take the Thrag Tusk, they're forced to use the ballista on the on the Tide Hauler to get the Thrag Tusk back, and then they're just gonna play Thrag Tusk anyway. So, in both situations, they're playing Thrag Tusk, but they're using the ballista. Whereas this situation, we give them a chance to not go to five, and then we get to rally the ancestors back for one, two, three, four, five creatures, which kills them. So we're trying to make it so that they don't gain life. Sanctum of Ugin. Fascinating. Did you top deck an Ugin? No, because you top deck Sanctum, right? No, no, you use Sylvan Scrying. Okay, walking for four. That's pretty okay. That's actually great. That's exactly what we wanted. So that should actually do it. Return each card with Remakos two or less. So we just get all these guys back. And they kill these guys in response. Um, if they do that, actually, they just... Right, but if they're playing Thrag Dusk either way, I'd rather make them waste a Ballista for like two instead of having, still having a Ballista in hand. So that way we'd get rid of Ballista and Thrag Dusk rather than just Thrag Dusk. Because this guy on board doesn't do anything. So in response, they kill these, but then they come back if they kill them in response. So, yeah, this is fine, actually. I think this should be okay. Return each creature that costs two or less. Yeah, that's fine. And if they try to shoot anything, we just gain. We, they just come back, too. That would actually be pretty funny if they try to shoot them in response. No, it would still be... No, you're right. It would still be stolen by Skeller, but just, that, that just doesn't matter. That doesn't do anything. Let's see what you got here. So now they're gonna go shoot one, shoot the blood artist in response, and we're gonna be like, no, no, hold up. How was my line riskier? Like, that doesn't make any sense. There's no, there's no actual risk whatsoever. How is my line probably correct? We're winning the game because of my line. <laughs> I don't understand. They're like, I'm going to keep shooting it. I'm going to be like, no, dude. It's not going to work. This guy again, huh? All right. You sack a creature. This is three damage. Let's resolve that one. The stack is getting... Okay. One more time, huh? All right. Well... happening right now 
So this is. All right. Um, you know what? I'll keep this guy on top. You can get your card back. Um, who are they? This guy is shooting the blood artist. Sure, stay. I'll keep you. Oh, they conceded at one. <laughs> What do you just concede at five, man? You're dead. Oh, see you later, Tron. Good times. Good times. Yeah, my line also, my line says, hey, you have no Thrag Tusk. You need to gain five life. We have information they don't have. We know they have to gain life next turn in order to win because we have Rally the Ancestors. We are trying to minimize the amount of plays that they have that will allow them to gain five life. And we were also trying to make sure they don't do it instinctually. Like, hey, I'm going to gain five life. Because um, I just have a Thrag Tusk in hand, so I'll just, I'll just cast it. We're going to take that option away from you. So that you either have to really, really want the Thrag Tusk. And at the moment, you don't know you really want the Thrag Tusk because we don't have anything on board. Or you have to see the line. Or, or you're just going to play something else. You're just going to play whatever else, you, whatever another nonsense you have in your hand that we know about. Right? So Thanks. by taking away the option of just default manual auto autopilot casting thrag tusk they no longer have that option so they have to know that they really really want a thrag tusk in this situation and they don't they don't know that by what we have on board because of our hidden information t jesse thank you so much really appreciate it welcome back so like whereas taking the walking ballista literally does nothing it does nothing it takes a card out of their hand it takes a random card out of their hand that does nothing or as opposed to taking the thrag tusk which literally prevents us from winning so like i mean we know what we have we have rally the ancestors which literally wins us the game so long as they don't gain life so we're trying to hide the fact that they need to gain life and we did and we win the game i mean there's no real risk involved like we either make them default play to gain five life or we make them not gain five life and try to have to find they, they have to really want that five life they have to be like okay i need to find a way to gain that five life and at the time they didn't have that desire they didn't have that that knowledge so Uh, I don't know, like, I don't feel like we want all 7,000. I've been on a call for three minutes. <laughs> Is that a long time or not a long time? I have no idea. Um. Ah, uh, well, that is unfortunate. I wouldn't say it was wasted. I mean, it's recorded for everyone in the world. And now they can know. Oh, my bad. Elk Tears, what's going on? Good seeing you, buddy. Long time no see. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what we want to do here. I don't actually love Seder Wayfinder either because it's putting. I guess it's. I guess it's 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 working with these guys. I feel like you just want four and four. I also feel like Court of Calling is not bad because it gets you one of your sack outlets. Like this is your only sack outlet. Google the boogle. We're definitely not googling the boogle here. Are there any cards that are like put multiple dudes into play? I don't know. I do feel like we want like some some number of thought sees and or Inquisition, probably thought sees because like Against decks like Tron, you just really want to not have them to not have things. I don't know. We just beat Tron. I don't know. I I agree. We definitely should have four Cutthroats. I think that you you need eight of these guys for sure. I could take out one Wayfinder. Zulaport Cutthroat is infinitely better than Wayfinder. At what point do I hang up and then dial back? That's the question, isn't it? Because you're like, on one hand, I could get through faster. On another hand, I could just literally reset the time I've wasted. Like it's, it's a real it's a real coin flip. Hmm. 
I'll keep this hand. I don't like this hand at all, but what can you do? It's a real mirror match? I don't know if that means what you think it means. I don't think any of those Eldrazi's are in our colors, though. Not the good ones, anyway. I guess the 2-2 two -two for, like, two. Hedron Crab. I see. Oh, I see. Oh, joke's on you. I have three return and a rally. Oh, boy. Uh, this could go very, very well. I've been obsessed with watching Throwback Standard 1998 Academy videos. Were you playing? Do you remember that time of Magic? It just seemed insane. Uh, I was I was playing Magic, but I wasn't really playing competitive Magic, so I wasn't really super familiar with that. Um, but I've watched a lot of... Oh, wow. This is going to be... Yikes. Oh, my God. Having Rally in the deck is actually... It's actual... Actual factual insane. I'm just going to play this and assume we don't die. And I kind of just want to actually... I mean, we, wanna hit, we have to hit another land. Rally is better than return here for sure. Three, three bouncing Eldrazi? What is that? There's a bouncing Eldrazi? Cartel Aristocrat is possible. Ooh, I like that. I always like Cartel Aristocrat. The Flickering? Oh, the three mana? Yeah, but we don't have colorless mana. We have no colorless mana in our deck, so we really have to, like, change our... We have to change our entire mana base. Immortal Servitude. What does Immortal Servitude do? Again, that's one of those cards that literally... Um... That confuses me with the other two cards. Return each creature card with your own mana cost X from your graveyard to the battlefield. Return each creature card with your own mana cost X or less. Uh, no, because you want you want X or less. You want to be able to bring back one drops and two drops. You want to bring back Viscerous here and the other one. This is just X. So this is exactly, and this is, no, we definitely don't want that. As long as we can hit one land here, I think like the, oh, actually we have, we have Convoke here. Oh, that's pretty good. No, we need two lands, don't we? So we can actually go Viscera Seer. Can we kill you here? Not yet, I don't think. Not yet. What are you extirpating? Viscera Seer? Oh, that's brutal. You just happen to have extirpate and you have to hit Viscera Seer. Come on. Ugh, it's extirpate. Can't even deal with it. No, that's really stupid. Yeah, this is why we want multiple... Yeah, this is why we want multiple sack outlets, for sure. Okay, we're definitely bringing a Cartel Aristocrat. Also, I think Rally is better than Return. By a large margin. A large marge. In. Plus, we can take out Seder Wayfinder, because they have six one-drops. That's fine. Or maybe we leave two Seder Wayfinders and take out two Elves of Deep Shadow. I don't like... I don't hate that. Yep. Yeah, the problem is we now have zero sack outlets. Uh, why else did we shout out? It's not overbop. There's literally Birds of Paradise right here in the graveyard. <laughs> um, let's actually get back like a bunch of different things here. We could return to the ranks. 
Get back like voice cutthroat blood artist. Uh, voice cutthroat blood artist. Do you want elves here? Maybe we want elves or birds so we can just collect it. Company. God, it sucks. Two, three, five. So we're milling ten here. So I'm actually just gonna pass here with nothing tapped, and then in their end turn, in the end end of turn, I'm just gonna rally the ancestors here. Actually, let's attack. Probably dead here. Oh, the problem is we're going to have to tap out. So there's going to be two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 14 actually we go to two cards if they just don't have a way to mill us here which I can't imagine they don't oh my god we have no land to find oh my god I mean they didn't mill us recently that's hilarious uh, you don't want Yeheni because again you can't find it with rally the ancestors or return to the ranks like you just don't want a three mana sack outlet um wow of course it was marsh flats and we have forest in our in our deck still yep that's pretty painful can we do it for one <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna concede here that's terrible wow Top deck forest doesn't do it. We actually had to do it at the end of the turn because we want to be able to attack with the creatures. We have no sack outlets. They don't gain haste or anything, so. Yep, this guy is definitely better. Yeah, I'm just not liking Wayfinder. I just don't feel like we have needed Wayfinder at any point. Uh, Spell Skite, not great. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. Are we going to lose the mill here? There is someone in the chat named Lord of the Lurkers, which is very similar to Lord of the Leash. I'm not sure if Lord of the Lurkers is the same person, though. If you're in the chat, I know it's against your name, but you should let us know that you're not this, this person we're playing against. That's pretty okay. What do you got here? Mesmeric Orb is probably uh, your most painful card for, for us. How many fetch lands do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight fetch lands. Eight fetch lands seems. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean, it's actually not terrible. Oh, that was pretty good. So, 
Pride Mage. Oh, I actually wanted the Cutthroat because it can attack for another point. All right, so they played Oboro and Search. Fine. Is this aristocrats? You're you're aristocrats. Got him. Wow, got him. Field of ruin. All right. Well, that's pretty beautiful. It's beautiful. It's true. I think they're just dead this game. This is where we get the good draw. Next game, they get the good draw. Oh, they're going to do some nonsense. What does that do? I guess it gets them a swamp. I guess we can just tap this. No, it's not going to matter. Fatal push? Let's take the fatal push. Oh, do, are we going to search and they're going to archive trap us? I think that's actually fine here. We have 49 cards. Yeah, I mostly just want to keep my guys alive, so. Archive trap. We do need to sacrifice on what? Okay, so now you don't have Archive Trap. So now your hand is Glimpse Mission Briefing. So next turn we can just get to untap, play Return of the Ranks, get a Viscera Seer, get two Viscera Seers. Yeah, this should be good. Unless they top deck Extirpate their dead. And even then we have a sizable board, so I guess it's okay. You got it. I was wondering why aren't you the YouTube discussion really called Frank Discussion? Oh, that's a good question, actually. That's a great that's a great title. Now I'm gonna steal that. And now it is mine. Um Yeah, we're just gonna attack with the two twos and then we're gonna play a million things. How's that sound? Pretty good? Okay, one, two, three. And then we're going to get four four things back, which should presumably kill them when the four things are Viscera Seer, Blood Artist. So we're going to get Viscera Seer, Blood Artist, uh, Voice, and other Viscera Seer maybe? And Tide Hollow Skuller. Oh my god, we don't have double white. So we play this. Nope, can't do that. Oh my god. We just messed up real bad, guys. We don't have double white. Oh lord. Get out of here with that nonsense. Um, one, two. That's brutal. I think we're still fine. Oh god, we're not fine, are we? What if we just lose here? This is, this is one of the few times I'm like, I don't even consider the cost of... Okay, so we know they just have mission briefing, so they can get us... This is going to cost 10. Or not... not. It's going to mill us for 10, but it's going to cost them 4 mana, so I think we're fine. He's like, why is he tapping all the white creature? We can play this white creature and then tap that one, and then, then we just break even. That's real sad. Okay, we win the game anyway. 
It's okay. Didn't matter. Still had all these guys. Still had all these. This is a matchup where you just don't want to even crack any fetches. Actually, do I even want Seder Wayfinder? I added Seder Wayfinder as a 61st card to, like, tech against the milling. But then the Seder Wayfinder's like, I'm just going to mill you for four, bro. And I was like, oh, that's a good point, Seder Wayfinder. Convoke lets you tap a... Well, you can tap a creature of any color. But, yeah, if it's white, you can add a white. Correct. This hand is pretty yikes. This hand is also pretty yikes. Let's go to five. Actually, this is a great five. All right. Let's do it. I'm cracking this instantly because I want to give them as few chances as possible to... Uh... I kind of want a second white here. Yeah, we'll just get Temple Garden. I don't want to give them any extra draws to hit Archive Trap, but I'm sure they're going to just trap us anyway. They did not trap us. Could you explain the Mulligan rule? I don't understand how it works in tournament play. Okay, you draw seven cards. You say, do I want to mulligan this hand? If the answer is yes, you say, I've mulliganed one time. You go down to six. You, you mulligan your hand, shuffle back in, draw seven more cards. Let's say you've mulliganed once and you decide to keep it. Now you take one card from your hand of your choice and put it on the bottom of your library. If you mulliganed again, let's say you mulliganed twice, you'll draw seven cards. And if you decide to keep this hand, you'll take two cards and put them on the bottom of your library. So you're still going to start out with the same number of cards. If you mulligan twice, you're going to have five cards. If you mulligan three times, you're going to have four cards. The difference is you're drawing seven every time and selecting the best four or the best five from that hand and putting the ones you don't want on the bottom. So it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. I, I like it a lot. The problem against Mill is that sometimes they just win. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do. They just get those like. Uh, when does it go into effect in MTGO? That's a good question. I think it's I think it's soon. And I'm pretty sure the internet just randomly died right right this second. Two fifty eight. Oh my god, why did I do that? Oh, we did that because we wanted to be able to play Collected Company next turn, which is more important than playing uh, Viscerous here this turn. Yeah, well, I need to call the internet and be like, hey, listen, guys, I'm getting mad. Wouldn't that just make Storm another combo deck in Sailor Yes, that that is the that is the concern. This is the rhythm of the wall. Oh, Tide Hollow and Blood Artist seems very... Ah, uh, we actually want to kill one of these guys. So we're definitely getting Pride Mage. Probably getting Blood Artist as well.
I usually mention that I work from home. The last time I mentioned I work from home and I need internet, they're like, well, you should get our business. Maybe you should, maybe your business line would be better for you. And their business line is like $300 a month. And I was like, no, that's not reasonable. The things I do from home are definitely, uh, I should be able to do them from the $60, $60 a month service. What's up, Planeswalker Academy? So we're going to get... Milled for like 30,000. Okay, so 23 cards left in our deck, huh? And it's doing it again. Cool. Yep. Literally no one else is on the internet currently. So it just, there's these hiccups where like it just goes down to zero. And I don't understand it. Nope, definitely on my end. Like, I'm literally watching the kilobytes go from 0 to 59 to, to 0 to 28. It's really kind of frustrating, but... It's possible we could win if we draw, like... Thank you. Cassius, welcome back. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. P -p 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 I mean, I guess this is fine. Uh, I'm actually going to use this to... Um, Do we have a basic we can get? <laughs> there's a forest in here. So there's forest, forest, plains, plains, swamp. We have five basics. Yeah, we can... We can this is fine. Also, Field of Ruin is crazy because it's not it's not a May ability. It just forces you to search so it turns on all the archive traps. White, white, white. Let's go planes. And I'm pretty sure we're dead here. Yep, figured. Um, so we can deal five here. Yeah, if we hit another like blood artist or whatever, we'd be in good shape. But yep, seems good. All right. Um, we might not, might not even need four cartel aristocrats. Is there another card that's just like? Maybe like one quart of calling. It seems expensive though. Like f you need five five essential man. I guess you need four if you want want to just grab a viscerous here. But then like, isn't it just better to have a cartel aristocrat because when you draw the. Magic's hard. Um, 
The sideboard is interesting. Like, it's got a lot of mono red things. And wraths are interesting. What are we wrathing against? Like, I haven't felt like we've needed wrath at any point. Um, Spellskite's nice. What are the Tron? Like, so... I wonder if, un like, Unbreakable Formation is good. Gain Indestructible. Obviously, I'm not going to board against the mill deck. Um, what about control? Like, if we're playing against a control deck, what do we want to resolve? We have voice and tide hollow scholar and cartel aristocrat, which are all pretty decent. I think we just want like thought seizes. Uh, Recruit of the Guard is not legal in modern, so that is a good reason why we would not play it. At least I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> uh, Absent aristocrats, where are you? Did we just make our deck illegal? We did. Why is it? Oh, because we got 59 cards. We took out one card to the aristocrat. Got it. Got it. Uh, what are we adding? Not legal yet. That's true. That's true. Blood Throne Vampire. I guess we're just going to add a T here and make our life easier. Abzan Aristocrats. Oh, my bad. Yeah, it's good. It's all good. I'm okay with the sand. Get an overgrown tomb. Or a godless shrine. Yeah, it's probably godless shrine. What up, Mon Preda? Why we have five artifact destroyers in the sideboard? Because artifacts are a big deal. I don't know. I mean, I won't take the... <laughs> Hope you're ready for some jank. I'm always ready for some jank. I will keep this hand. Sure. I actually wonder what server I'm on. That's actually a good question. That could actually change a lot of the the issues. I'm gonna have to check when I'm done. This is an aristocrat's deck.
Well, that's unfortunate. That was rude. You're an aristocrat's deck. That's rude. This is... You're going to get banned. That's not appropriate. This is a family-friendly stream. What are we getting? Godless Shrine? It's a good land. Don't counter this. My feelings are certainly... Well, they should be. Wow, that was nice of them. I mean, I joke, but they could actually get, like, a blue land with the marsh flats and counter it. You're good people. Wow, that's rude. Um, I guess we're just going to play Cartel Aristocrat. Ghostly Prison? This is actually fine, because we don't actually care about attacking. I know, but I'm not sorry. Wow. This is... This is unbelievable. I think we're just playing Cartel Azulaport Cutthroat here. Or we can just collected company. Yeah, let's collected company. You hear the guys? They're coming to get you. They're coming to get you. Do I smell it? No. It's ridiculous. Come on, buddy. Phyrexian Unlife. Gross. So I got black, black, white, white. Green, green. I'm just going to get a white here. And then we're going to collect a company. And then we're going to try not to whiff. Don't whiff. No whiffsies. No whiffsies. You're going to fatal push my creature? This is getting... Your rudeness is unparalleled. We could return to the ranks. What? Two things? So, return X1, 2, 3, 4. So what we can do is crack this guy, get a forest. Um, 1, 2, 3... Return, Cartel, and Tide Hollow Sculler. We can also just play these two, right? That seems good, too. Or, and, we can, and we can't attack, though. We have no... Oh, we have Sack Outlet. We have Sack Outlet and Cartel Aristocrat. Yeah, that's fine. Play Cartel Aristocrat. Play Cutthroat. 
And return to the ranks two dudes. One, two for white. You, you, and you. Let's see what you got in hand. Assemble the Legion Idyllic Tutor. Idyllic Tutor can get like... Well, I took the wrong one, but that's fine. I meant to take the other one. No, we took the Idyllic Tutor. That's right. That's the one we wanted to take. Can we win? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No. 12, 13, 14, 15 if we attack with two creatures next turn. What up, Shale? All right, so if we just let it happen, they take two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We get a guy back. That's really that was an amazing. What an amazing top deck. Uh, that gains protection. That doesn't do it. Yep. Collect company. Rally. Return to the ranks. Windswept teeth. Yep. So now they get to play Assemble if they hit a land. Idyllic Tutor if they don't. That was none of the cards we said. That is correct. Here we go. Yep. That's a good one. That's probably unbeatable unless we like combo off here. still looking for a rally the ancestors i think we put i don't know if we put any in the bottom i think we put two return to the ranks on the bottom oh how nice wow they're just like this is just amazing this is just blood artist Oh, this is actually brutal because we have to actually attack for them to to lose the game. Like, we can't actually... Like, life loss isn't going to kill them. The damage makes... The only way they can lose is through infect. That's actually... What on the earth, man? Also, give me give me ideas for my art, my Wednesday kick... My, my Wednesday cool stuff article. I don't know what to write about on Wednesday for cool stuff. I 
And also, I'm looking for serious suggestions, not troll suggestions, because I'm actually not sure what to write about. Yeah, this wasn't a platform for you guys to tell your best, your best, I'm going to make a funny meme joke. Uh, this is just a way for me to get some suggestions that you guys might want to read about. Uh, I'm not thinking standard or modern. I could care less, as long as it's something that sounds interesting. Wishlist cards for Modern Horizons is actually uh, one of my top ideas, actually. Well, Cube starts on Wednesday, but maybe that, but like, uh, what about it? Right? Like, what am I, what am I writing about it specifically? You know, like saying write about cube is not really. Okay, so I guess we're just. Yep, that'll do. Okay. <laughs> That's all I need to see. Uh, wow, I wish this said destroy all enchantments. Instead, it says not that. All right, we're bringing in this guy. Bringing in this guy. Take out two elves. Take out. One return. Oh man, what to cut, what to cut. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, live Frank is better than YouTube Frank, as far as I can tell. Um, ugh. one huh take a bird out I don't love it but I, I like the, the modern archetypes that aren't quite there yet. I do like that as an idea. Um, I think there's too many of them to write about in one article, though. I think there are a ton of modern archetypes that aren't quite there. Um, another thing is that it's really hard to know what could get a boost from Horizons because you literally have no idea what's in it. Literally no idea. Like, it's not like it's not like they said, hey, there's going to be elf support, merfolk support, mill support. It's not like we we have this idea that X deck could get a boost because of because we have this information. Like, we literally have no idea. So it's really hard to be like, hey, this deck could get a boost. Like, it, it could also not get any boost whatsoever, you know? It's literally a coin flip. It's 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 Schrodinger's boost, basically, where, like, all decks in Modern are getting a boost and not getting a boost at the exact same time until you open a pack of Modern Horizons. Yikes. Yikes. And sure. All right, well.
Yeah, it's funny when I think about modern, I'm like, wow, all of these decks are like so close to good. No, they're all new planeswalkers. Thank you. Amazon, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Sure. Yep, that is a thing. Pride Mage. Bird of Paradise. Joke's on you, buddy. I have a bunch of O ones. Opinion on 3D card sleeves on MTG and functions you want to see. Ah, uh, the 3D cards look amazing. Oh my god. Wow, demonic pact is strong. I feel like we're dead here. Oh, as an art. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got you. I got you. Oh, I like that they can actually oblivion ring their own demonic pact if they need to, but they're not doing that. So they're clearly under no. They have no concern. What if we actually take the last card? Oh, they have. Uh, wait. Yeah. All right. Black, black. So we need green. Green, white. This is good. This is a good game. I feel like we're we're both playing uh we're both playing hard. You know, good stuff. Good stuff. Looking for a way to disrupt this. That ain't it. All right. Well, the next the next mode's not going to do anything, so that's nice. I will discard two cards. So long, cards. <sighs> yep. Good games. I had a good time. Okay. So I feel like we're just missing something. Like there's just no there's no oomph. Like you have to you have to have like my problem with it with aristocrats in general is that you have to amass a certain number of creatures and then make sure that they remain in play. Um I almost feel like lingering souls is very, very good here. Maybe like instead of return to the ranks. I mean, it's a great set. It's a great card to 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 play after you play like a blood artist or a cutthroat.
Are you suggesting March for this deck? Because we'll never have enough mana. We'll make like two creatures and March the Multitudes because there's three in the casting cost. So like, I mean, this deck has 19 lands, so you'd have like... Um, Like, if we have enough mana to make March of the Multitudes um, worthwhile, by that point, like, we just don't... Um, we, are, we should already be winning, right? Like, I think you have to make at least three tokens, which means you have to have three guys on board and three lands. And that's not terrible, but, like, Lingering Souls for just three mana is probably just better at that point. Um... Let's get a temple garden here because that lets us No, we want to get uh let's get i guess we're i want the double white but i also want to black this turn and we need a green source so this is a tricky situation i think we just have to get overgrown to play viscerous here next turn we'll play voice and we're just gonna hope we draw a second thank source. you detour dwarf thank you thank you so much for the sub really appreciate it welcome welcome Yep, I have six there, and that was my Thank own fault. Thank you. And to be fair, I don't mind drawing a third collector company. CPA, thank you so much for the somebody. I'm so sorry for that match. <laughs> really appreciate the resub. Good times, good times. Um, yeah, I mean, like we molded like four or five that last game, so I don't know. What are you gonna do? Uh, okay. Had I known we were playing against Burn, I probably wouldn't have gotten so aggressive with the Overgrown Tomb, but... Yep, seems good. I mean, we have a 2-2 two -two here. I don't, I don't really see how we lose this game, to be quite honest. Yep. Oh, two Goblin Guides. Well, that answers that, doesn't it? Yeah, but I mean, you can't not cast it. You can't not cast Inquisition. And you can't be like, oh, he multiply. I'm not going to cast this. That's just silly. Bird of Paradise, huh? Well, that's going to be a good draw. I mean, we could technically rally here to block and then put the card on the... Like, just put the bird on the bottom. I don't think that does anything, though. This is where they just untap and go Boros charm your face. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, now we have to do this. Because if they if they let this resolve, then when we collected company, they're going to respond again and kill us. Whereas right now... Um, let's get double Blood Artist, I guess. <laughs> Actually, we, eh. I was going to say we should have gotten... Around. Yeah, of course you have it. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you have four Lightning Bolts out of eight? Makes total sense. Total sense. All right. Bring in these guys. Bring in these guys. Take out the Blood Throne Vampire. Take out a Rally. Voice. Voice is good. Sculler is fine. Yeah, I think we're going to go uh, a little bit more creature based rather than. Uh, 
having to combo them out here. Wow. All right. Well, I'm going to keep this hand because I don't think it's terrible, but... We're going to get a Temple Garden. Goblet Shrine was here, and if we got an Overgrown, we couldn't play. We only have double white for Cork Firewalker if we get it. Yep, that was pretty good. Uh, Pond of Wolf is too expensive just because we don't want any three drops, really. Seems good. Okay, I'll take another two damage just to play one one. That's a good rate. I'm sure nothing can go wrong from that. Yep, seems good. Completely reasonable. No, I don't care about them having turn one guide and us having fetch. Like, I mean, that's the least of my concerns against this deck. Like, I'm just collected company here because wow, six six hits, huh? This guy and spell sky. Wow, three birds there, huh? That's pretty funny. Okay, so you have a Bloodstained Mire. Not terrible. Well, that's fascinating. Yeah, we took the bird because we want to be able to play two of these guys next turn. Graph Digger's Cage. Sure. I feel like the damage is done now. Yeah, I don't think they're going to kill the Viscera here, which is actually pretty good for us. Oh, they didn't play the Grim Lava Mancer? Oh, that's pretty good. Is that, does that work the way I think it works? Yeah, that's unfortunate that we drew Collected Company the turn after it shuts off Collected Company. I guess we don't actually have to do... Um, hmm. No, let's draw. Not bad. Okay, I think we're actually good now. <laughs> um, so every creature deals three now? Good lord. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, 
another solid option. What are you target? It doesn't matter. It's gonna go to the spell skite. Um add a blue. Choose this. Pay the blue. Thanks for dealing two damage to my spell skite. Let's get in the red zone. 14, huh? So we sack this for three. Oh, they're just going to concede. Sack this for three, sack this for three. Yeah, all right. That's good. That's good stuff. That's good times. Okay. Uh, I think Forge Tenor, Firewalker, and Spell Skate are all good sideboard options. Two Midnight Reaper. I like Midnight Reaper, but again, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't cost three, so it's much harder to get with uh, Rally the Ancestors. It's not much harder to get. It's one more mana more. One more mana more. Hmm. I guess since we took the Return of the Ranks out, it could be better. Maybe. Is Midnight Reaper better than Grim Hauer Specs? Grim Hauer Specs is whenever another creature, and it's also non token, but it doesn't deal you damage either, so. I'm gonna reluctantly keep this hand. Maybe they'll give me a land. Maybe. Oh, they're so generous. Oh, wow. Don't kill my bird, bro. No blocks. Why are you giving me all these lands? This is beautiful. It's beautiful, it's true. I saw your face in a searing blaze and I don't know what to do no, no. oh the bird survived oh my god oh my god I'm actually just gonna low key get a planes here and then play fire walkie that's pretty good that was blunt. Wow, that was nice. And I don't know what to do. Na, 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 na. Um, yes. Yes, I will. Thank you. So next turn we can play pretty much whatever we want. Uh, we can go get like a we can we can get a basic swamp arena with that guy. Oh, yeah. Keep giving me this life. Uh, I think I don't think Baleful Strix is too powerful for modern. Oh, do you have do you have spell crack? Do you have skull crack? Hmm. 
I'm going to take three here. I think it's much better to just block with like Lingering Souls or Voice of Resurgence. And we already gained two this turn. Boros Charm. So we actually got like 11 here, I believe. 10? Yikes. I like Lingering Souls here because it lets us block twice. Uh, and if we hit, we have a land, so next turn we can actually do two things. We can play two two drops. Yeah, that's fine. So we pretty much know you have Skullcrack, right? Like, that's just a given. Oh wow, I was actually hoping to draw that. That was great, so now we don't have to actually crack anything. So we can play like voice and... Or we can play, play Spellskite and Zulaport Cutthroat. Yeah, that seems good. I guess Cutthroat dies though. Eh, still gain life. Oh, you're going to do a thing. Well, all right. Could still be dead here. Always yes and always yield to that. I don't have to keep saying yes. Well, now we're going to block because I feel like we're just priced into blocking. Oh, no attacks. Fantastic. Oh, they have one card in hand. Oh, this is good for us. Get in there, little token. Do your job. Oh, Hajigalashi with the box of commons and uncommons. That's awesome, dude. Way to go. That's sick, man. You all, everybody. I guess we're, to we're going to four here, but they have no cards in hand, so that's pretty okay. There's no card that deals us four, especially with... Um, I guess if they draw Boros Charm and then they Lava Mancer us, that's... So this is going to deal three. We're going to go... I think we're just... Are we just dead? Yes, we are just dead. We have no Sacrifice Outlet. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Magic. God, I love this game. If I blocked one more time, I don't think we could ever lose. Yep. Cool. Yeah, we can't we can't collect a company when they have a when they have a graph digger's cage in play. Is there any way we like don't lose this game to the to the top deck?
Oh, you don't have to forget. It's right here on the board. <laughs> it shows you. It shows you the cards they have. Um, go away. Like, there's nothing you really do without a sack outlet is, is the unfortunate part. Like, you have a bunch of cutthroats and, like, we can't sacrifice anything to... And they're, they're, they they have no incentive to, to block. Uh, not blocking with core, like, I just, I put them on skull crack way early in the game. Charm doesn't target. Char Charm does four damage to a player or a planeswalker. The spell scout is not a legal target for Boros Charm. Skullcrack turns off protection. Yes, it says damage cannot be prevented. So they Skullcrack and then we just trade. Which I guess wouldn't have been fine. I mean, and plus they didn't have Skullcrack, so I think that's like where the, the breakdown is. Like if we just blocked Goblin Guide like 10 turns ago, we'd probably win this game pretty handily. So I don't know. I guess that's a misplay, but it doesn't feel that bad because like being able to keep a core Firewalker on the board is pretty good. I don't know. Lingering Souls seems good. Maybe we just want one fewer Lingering Souls. And maybe we do go back up to one more Cartel Aristocrat. Yeah, like again, Sack Outlets are pretty good. Alright, play one more. Is this the same one? No, Mugen 43, Foo was the uh, the previous match. I'll keep this hand, even though I don't love it. But we have two drops. We have a collected company if lands come our way. Let's go to Temple Garden. Yeah, if he has it, you get to trade with Guide, but trading a core Firewalker with a with a Goblin Guide is not really my my ideal play. Like, I, I think I think core Firewalker is much stronger than just a Goblin Guide on board. So, And we missed the second land drop, just to be clear. And we missed the third land drop, just to be clear. And they they once again have turn one expedition map, turn three Tron lands. Yeah, all right. So this is just the absolute worst thing that could possibly happen. So that's unfortunate. Take two damage. <sighs> Thank you. Sarge, thank you so much for the least buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Exile my bird. That's good. Oh, he's on one land. Let's just exile his bird. It's okay. We're just going to hit lands. Mono lands from here on out. Mono collected company. Sounds good. Two lands is a lot to ask for. I, I, I understand. Two lands is a lot to ask for. I feel like I was lucky to get one land. And so, like, you know, give, giving me two lands feels like a real... I, I don't know. I don't want to be greedy. Let me guess. You got a Nugan? Oh, there's a Walking Blister for Worm Coil. Sure. Seems good. Yeah. Can you believe some people ask for three lands? No. It's... It's... Nope. We're done. 
No, don't even care. 12 cards, one land. Seems good. Seems good. So by, the, by 12 cards, one land, by that ratio, there's actually five lands in my deck, I imagine. So that's cool. Uh, we're going to bring these guys in. We'll take out a Cartel Aristocrat. Take out a Rally. Uh, we're going to take out Lingering Souls. Pride Mage is probably fine. Might be better than might be better than Aristocrat, but we, we want Sacrifice Outlets. Probably better than Voice, right? Voice doesn't do much. Ah, uh, Voice does things, actually. It's pretty good. Take out the Elves and bring out another Voice. Sure. Uh, let's get a Godless Shrine. Go to the old 15 on turn one. Let's see. Sphere, Sphere, Relic, Ugin, Ballista. Okay, I'm talking about... I could probably see taking one Elves of Deep Shadow out for one... Um, for one more land. I could also see cutting the other Elves of Deep Shadow for a Noble Hierarch. Because it taps for two of our colors, whereas Elves taps for one. And I think we, uh, we do want more white than we do black. But... It's probably just Walking Ballista here. Like, Walking Ballista, they can cast on turn two, kill one of our guys. Like, it just... Urza's Power Plant Chromatic Sphere. <laughs> what notification noise is that? Oh. Beep. Beep. Boom, boom. Whoop. I could just make a bunch of noises for you guys, and you guys can be like, oh, wow. I feel like my work is uh, triggering here. Hers is mine. Relic of Progenitus. Sure. So you drew one off. You draw two, two for the turns and one for the... One off the sphere. Those are your draws. Just going to pass here with the old ye old collected company up. I'll take my windswept heath and go home. Beep. Whoop. Bing boom. We can make. We, I can do. I can do all these noises, guys. Oh look, they naturally hit their their tower. How great! Good for them. Good for them. Sometimes, sometimes the bad guys do win. Um, can we kill them? Not even close. Yeah, there's like, I, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure we're actually dead here. Man. Yep. I'll negative two. And then I'll crack my relic if you can sack all your guys in response. Sure. Just negative two. There you go. You figured it out. You did good. Bottom.
On the bright side, boy, we gained like a thousand life. Ball to hems. Ball to him. I'm just going to put that guy in the bottom because he doesn't do anything for us. Bottom. None of these cards do anything. Well, they didn't even activate Relic. I'm going to Ancient Stirrings. I'm going to go get a Hardened Scales. Well, second Relic. That seems unbeatable, because now if they crack this preemptively, we could respond, and then they crack it again. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Beep Bing bong. These are, you guys can clip these and make them your, make them your windows notifications. Oh, that could be your windows startup noise. Yeah, we're done here. All right. Um, Yeah, unfortunately, our record with this deck was not as good as I would have liked it to be. I just feel like there's too many things you want. Like, our, our individual cards are too low impact. Um, and you're really kind of banking on them going to the graveyard. But, like, even a card like Seder Wayfinder just doesn't... It doesn't guarantee you putting the relevant cards, which are literally one of these guys. One of these guys. Like, you want multiples of these in play, at least probably two. And then multiples of these guys. Well, yeah, I guess you really want one. Um, I could see cutting one elf and one elf for one more land maybe like I could see actually playing one Gavany Township even though this deck is very mana intensive and I actually kind of like Noble better than I would actually play a Noble Hierarch and then I would actually cut one Forest and or one Swamp and put this instead so now I have Temple Godless because we already have three Razor Roots that gets, and black is probably our second most. Black is our most represented color, with green being our second most. So for black, right, we have Godless Shrine goes here, Temple Garden can go here, and then Overgrown can go here, but then Razor Verge also goes here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sources of white, not including all the fetches, which get everything. And then one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're still way higher on white. I actually can see. I can actually see playing like one blooming marsh over one razor ridge thicket as well, just to kind of mix it up a little bit. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not right. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so green is the highest still. But makes sense. Um let's just play one concealed courtyard. We can just mix it up completely. Which I think gives us a better distribution. Because like despite the fact that black black is definitely our, by far our highest concentration of color. Um so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six sources of black, most of which could be searched. And one, two, three, four, five, six sources of green. One, two, three, four, five, five sources of white. I think that's totally fine. Uh, Shalai could be fine, but like you're probably never going to pay six for the pump effect. Um, this is more reasonable at five. And also it's taking up a land slot, not a creature slot. I, I don't think the creatures being targeted individually is not a huge deal because you get them back with like rally. Um, I don't know. Shall I just feels a little slow? Anyway, I, I don't know. I, I wish I had, I wish I had more, uh, I wish I had more 
more better. I wish I had better feedback for the deck, but I'm not sure what it needs. It just feels like it's missing something. It feels like you're trying to go wide, but you're giving your opponent a lot of time. And, like, you're not playing individual threats that are very threatening, like 4-4s four for 3 or Siege Rhinos on 4. You know, you're playing a lot of 2-2s and 1-1s and 0-1s even. Like, I mean, if you look, these are all 0-1s. The Blood Artists are 0-1s. So you're having a hard time punching through damage when you don't necessarily assemble the pieces that you need. And this one green green is interesting. This one green green, like that's her name. Um, but yeah, the Gavity Township could be good because it lets you just get through some damage if you don't actually have any. Plus it goes up to 20 lands, so um, the options are there. I don't really want to add any more. F we have 20 lands, so I don't really want to add any more th three or four cost cards if we don't have to. Um, whereas I think Lingering Souls does also a good job of of, of giving us a little more a little more width but uh, either way flunk thank you so much for the opportunity to play this deck i i'm sorry we didn't have better results i wish we did um but if you guys ever want to have your decks critiqued by me definitely check out my my patreon page or my twitch profile the links are in the description below you can also check out manatraders.com with the link below you will get 20 percent off your first three subscription your first three months of a subscription uh you use the promo code as well and at Mana Traders, you can borrow both physical paper cards and digital magic online cards. So whichever one is better for you. Uh, you can also check out CoolStuffInc.com for all my articles. And uh, you can use Frank5 to get 5% off. And finally, check out MeUndies.com slash FrankLapore if you're in the market for those kind of things. Which is like unders, onesies, lounge pants, etc. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Path Textile could help in a lot of matchups. Well, I, didn't, I feel like we didn't actually play that many matchups today that because they could have used Path. I also, I feel like Sculler is kind of, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Sculler. Um, at what point do you just cut out the Aristocrats package and just play tokens? If you're doing that, you're, you're playing a different deck, though. That's the problem. We're trying to see if an Aristocrats deck works, right? And if you're cutting out the Aristocrats package, then you're just playing tokens. So, anyway. Thank you guys for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. But thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I will see you next time.